Hello, my name is Krzysztof Pijarski and uh, it will be my pleasure to present to you the Visual Narratives Laboratory and talk a little bit more about our current endeavors and future plans. The Visual Narratives Laboratory was established three years ago at the Film School in Łódź to explore the area of the current forms of visual narration and develop artistically convincing solutions at the intersection of traditional film, theater, television and photography as well as the modern digital tools of visual communication, while taking into account the needs and expectations of the contemporary audience. We divided the lab into six studios. The VRAR studio that deals with, with, uh, with XR media, immersive media. The stereoscopic 3D studio, which is focused on um, exploring the artistic potential of stereoscopy, the film essay studio, the life experience studio that is now all but defunct because it, its role has been taken over by the different other studios, the interactive narrative studio, and the perception and viewer research studio. What is important to note is that we emphasize horizontal relationships within uh, the laboratory. Um, we focus on open knowledge exchange and on collaboration and not hierarchies. Hence, when I'm, when I'm writing responsible, those are the people who have the responsibility for the program of the studio and are not the directors in this sense. Here you can see some working pictures from our meetings and seminars. And I will proceed to present the current state of the respective studios and what we are facing right now and what our Mm, what our plans for the next year are. So the VRAR studio, which is the largest studio in the lab, um, is led by Paula Borkiewicz and Jacek Nagłowski. Paula Borkiewicz is responsible for the research program of the studio and Jacek is responsible for the production aspect. And they both um, lead the artistic and uh, research development process. The studio develops interdisciplinary artistic and research projects that are selected annually by the Artistic Council. For next year, we don't, we don't plan any, any new competitions because we would like to finish all the projects with, which we have already started, and there are many of them. I will come to this uh, in a moment. They are developed within a complete documentation, with the complete documentation of the workflow, detailing artistic, technical, and production problems and their possible solutions. So the outcome of whole process of developing an artistic project in this studio is also a whole research packet. Yes, The creative processes are analyzed with the aim of creating a new audiovisual language with critical reflection on the issues of immersive narratives. The creative process is developed in three stages. Six months for pre-production, two months for production and four months for, for post-production. We already know that this is not enough. Uh, we, ha we were a little bit too optimistic while we were planning or plotting our, uh, our trajectory, uh, especially when it comes to, <laughs> to the COVID pandemic, but this is, this is also something I will address in the, uh, during this talk. Um, at the moment, the studio has completed two full VR experiences, which have premiered um, and are um, uh, traveling internationally. Uh, one is Nights by Veronika Lewandowska and Sandra Friedrichak, a screen from which you can see on the left here, uh, which premiered this year at Sundance. Um, the other one is uh, Deep Dive, which uh, premiered at Go East by uh, Miłosz Hermanowicz. Um, the former is a sixth degree of uh, freedom uh, interactive experience. The second is a three degrees of freedom stereoscopic 3D uh, cinematic VR piece. Um, at the moment, we have four projects in post-production, six in production, and another five in co-production, either with other lab studios, the co-production I mean, or with external entities, uh, which means basically uh, co-funding of, uh, of, of, of these projects. Um, here you have a list of the projects which we, are, which we are at the moment, which we are developing at the moment. 
Uh, so the the projects in uh, in uh, post production at the moment are Blast of Invisible Relations, um, directed by Xavier Kaliski and Piotr Zeglarek, Dead City by Krzysztof Grudziński, Wish You Were Here by Michał Stankiewicz, and Self by Patrick Jordanowicz and Tadeusz Hudy. Uh, as you see, these are about half and half, six degree of freedom and three degree of freedom projects. But when you look at what is happening in the projects which are at this moment have, have finished the development state, the, the pre-production stage and are going into development, Darkness by Piotr Nierobisz, Multiverse by Robert Mleczko, The Cave by Jovita Guja and Adam Żądło, A Simple Song About Death by Marta Wieczorek and Maciej Czuchryta, Czuchryta, I'm sorry, uh, Pilot, uh, Pilot 9-11 by Norman Leto, Control Negative by Monika Masłoń, Enclosed Space by Hanna Umeda and Endless by Wojciech Puś. These are all six degrees of freedom uh, experiences. Was one ex with one exception, Endless is, is rather a three degree of freedom uh, stereoscopic VR piece. But you see that the studio is developing rather towards six degree of freedom experience, interactive experiences as closer to, how should we call it, the nature of the medium. Um, uh, research is a big part of the, of the um, um, activities of each uh, and, and every studio, especially the VR and AR part, because uh, while film is a very well uh, researched and developed medium, uh, VR and AR, the, the immersive media, uh, haven't had as much research at the moment and haven't had especially that long a tradition. So many um, aspects of this media as a certain visual language are still grasped rather intuitively than through experience or knowledge. And mm, the aim of this research is to gain that knowledge that would allow us to more mm, confidently <laughs> tread in this, in, this, in this space. So these are the, the main points of our research. First is the codification of, uh, audiovisual lang of the audiovisual language of XR. Um, uh, and uh, research into this will um, will lead to a publication, a digital pu publication that we are we have already started working on. Um, during the production, we do production studies together with ethnography of the creative process. Um, so during the uh, accompanying the process of production of each and every um, interactive uh, immersive piece that we are producing. Um, uh, um, a team of researchers, they observe the creative experiments, interview the creators, develop reports and, and case studies uh, of the production processes in cooperation with the University of Łódź. Uh, we are doing this research in cooperation with the University of Łódź. Michał Pabic is a very important person here. And we also do uh, uh, audience research um, that is focused on the um, psychophysiology of perception and of, uh, of cognitive processes and um, uh, that occur during uh, while ex cognitive and affective processes that occur while experiencing our immersive pieces. And this is research we are conducting in collaboration with the Institute of Psychology of the Polish Academy of Sciences and uh, OPI, which is, uh, which is another um, institute. Uh, our main partner here is uh, Dr. Grzegorz Ochwatko. Um, um all the research we are gathering, all the data will be later available and uh, the data that we are working on now will lead to, uh, to publications that uh, will expand on the psychophysiological uh, basis of uh, uh, immersive media. Uh, one important aspect of, uh, of this year's ac uh, activities of the, of the VR studio were connected to um, uh, to our prim prim premieres and to presenting the VR pieces we have developed uh, to the public. And uh, as a part of that, uh, we have conducted onboarding studies of uh, of the uh, of Knights, uh, the piece by Veronika Lewandowska and Sandra Friedrichak, uh, developing a um, um, uh, stage design and and a whole experience that would allow the um, uh, the audience to uh, to enter the space, <laughs> the virtual space of the piece, uh, without such a, um, a radical cut uh, between uh, the physical space and the virtual space. 
what you see here uh, is a documentation of the uh, of the stage design for this. Um, uh, let me continue to the uh, to this stereoscopic 3D studio. Uh, this is the first year wh where the studio could uh, could finally present the outcome of their work. Because uh, why is that? Because they were to be mm, to more precisely um, address the questions, um, which is to explore the undis undiscovered potential of the film language of stereoscopy. Um, the team of the of the films uh, of the stereoscopic 3D studio. Here you see the the the, the main responsible person, uh, Piotr Matysiak, who is a cinematographer. Um, Justyna Ruczynska is the producer of the piece. And uh, Herman, uh, Miłosz Hermanowicz is the stereographer who is, uh, who is responsible for the spatial aspect. And uh, we have also a representative of the, uh, of the Łódź uh, Technical University um, um, who is uh, leading a team of, uh, of students who develop uh, virtual stage design for this, uh, for this piece. Um, and Anita Kwiatkowska, the director of the, uh, of the film. Because what uh, the team of the S3D studio is actually developing is an animated stop, mo is an stop motion animation uh, with the use of a, uh, of a motion control robot. Um, the idea is that uh, the robot gives the team... Um, okay. A great degree of control over the um, the construction of uh, stereoscopic space, and hence give them much more insight into how that space works, how it influences the viewer, and how it can be developed as an artistic medium and not only um, uh, a special effect. Um, uh, the first outcomes of the uh, uh, of the team's work are are already um, uh, impressive. Uh, we can't wait for the for the final piece to to come to fruition, and uh, because uh, research is always a, a very important part of our uh, of our of our process, what was uh, what will also happen uh, as a part of uh, of this process is. Um, the uh, development of an interactive uh, textbook uh, for stereoscopic um, uh, for stereoscopic 3D um, uh, that will help uh, other artists to enter that space um, uh, more freely and uh, with more knowledge um, and um, and uh, confidence. Uh, the next studio. Uh, which has also um, um, uh, had a really uh, intense start this year after the ebbing of the of the strongest um, uh, pandemic-related restrictions uh, is the Film Essay Studio, uh, whose objectives are to develop a new formula of the film essay, a hybrid artistic and research form, referring on the one hand to the tradition of the new wave film essay and on the other to the contemporary videographic research found footage practices and internet genres, such as the video essay, the web doc, interactive document. Um, the people who are behind the studio's uh, program are Kuba Mikurda and Stanislav Ligudzinski, uh, a fantastic team. Um, and um, uh, one of the biggest successes of the, of the team so far uh, is the establishment of the Film Essay Seminar, uh, which, which they uh, um, opened after a, an international open call. Uh, and um, uh, because of the pandemic, the seminar was to be conducted online. Um, um, and uh, the, the success of this open call um, baffled all of us. Uh, so there were nearly 200 people who wanted to participate in it. And the organizers, uh, Kuba and Stanislav, they decided not to turn anybody down. And so they um, created two groups. One open group, which uh, which uh, participates in the open discussions and the open seminars with the invited tutors, and the other group, which is a more selected group, which works on materials and has a more hands-on uh, relationship um, with uh, with the tutors who advise them in their own projects. Um, they meet uh, uh, during additional sessions where they have a more personal um, interaction and relationship. 
And uh, the, one of the biggest successes is the lineup of the tutors who have uh, agreed to participate in the seminar, uh, which are A.L. Sivan, Catherine Grant, Kieran Corliss, Johann Grimon Press, James Wilkins, Laura Malvey, Matthias Müller, Christo, Christophe Girardet, Kevin Billy, Chloe Galibert uh, Lene, uh, Charlie Lyne, Mark Cousins, and Asaf Gruber. Um, uh, on the basis of this of this seminar, um, the team of the uh, of the film essay uh, studio also uh, plans to publish a kind of interactive textbook that would um, explore the medium of the film essay and um, um, and delve into its intricacies. Uh, the film's uh, essay studio also, um, as a part of its of its program, produces film essays. Uh, one film essay that has already started production is uh, is by Kuba Mikurda himself, another by Asaf Gruber, and we are about to to start production of four film essays from the studio's open call. Um, uh, that that would allow mm, whose aim was to allow um, um, applicants. Uh, to realize their own um, their own uh, uh, film essay or essay, essay film uh, in the studio in dialogue with this with the team and with the with the crowd of uh, of artists and and filmmakers who have gathered around this topic. Um, we have already uh, produced and premiered one film essay, which is it's about time by Mika Bal. Uh, Mika Bal was uh, was our distinguished guest during the first. Uh, months of the functioning of the, stu uh, of the studio and of the lab, uh, and she took part in our first discussions about what it is, uh, what a film essay is, and how we can understand that that um, that medium, uh, if we can call it a medium, and how it relates uh, to the uh, to the essay as uh, defined by Adorno and and many others after him. Um, the next studio I would like to briefly present is the Internet. Interactive Narrative Studio, uh, which I have the pleasure to lead, together with uh, Katarzyna Boratin. Um, uh, our objectives are to develop autonomous and at the same time supplementary narrative works in the digital sphere, taking already existing projects as points of departure. So the idea is not as is on the one hand to produce something that we could call web docs or interactive narratives, but we are also very much interested in in hybrid narratives that means we are not so much interested in producing pieces only for the screen for the computer screen but also for other screens for physical space for installation or um, hybrid forms between book and screen uh, and projection etc etc we have invited two two distinguished fellows to uh, to participate in this in this exploration of the medium of uh, of digital narratives, uh, which are Sandra Gaudenzi from the University of Westminster and uh, Frédéric Dubois uh, from the Film University of Babelsberg, uh, who is also uh, known as a um, uh, as a creator of interactive narratives, uh, among them uh, Atavash or um, Field Trip. Um, we also invited um, uh, we, had, we invited guests and collaborators among among them Marcha Rottevel, um, uh, who has um, uh, shared with us her in, um, immense knowledge and experience in crafting uh, visual narratives uh, out of photographs and moving images um, uh, as she uh, develops uh, during uh, in her uh, docking station in Amsterdam. Um, we have also concluded the production of two uh, of two interactive pieces. One is Amazon by uh, Titus Szabelski, the other Makeshift by Pavel Stajets. Um, let me just take down the, the sound. Uh, these are just so you can have a look at, uh, at, at how these pieces <laughs> work. Um, uh, one is a documentary piece, which is uh, which is an exhibition, which comes also as, a, as an exhibition and uh, is supposed to become a book uh, uh, as end uh, as end product, or not really as as another supplementary uh, form uh, of this piece. Amazon is, is something a little bit more um, 
uh, dev, uh, extended, I would say, because it's uh, it was developed as an exhibition. It's actually the PhD uh, project of uh, of Titus, um, uh, a gallery piece, a gallery piece, and um, uh, and this interactive piece, which is a kind of uh, which can be treated as a kind of uh, tool set to create uh, your own exhibitions, and this is something that we have that we have also that we have also um, uh, explored uh, during the photo month in Krakow, where we um, uh, performatively or, um, uh, arranged an exhibition only out of the material that Titus uh, uh, amassed uh, on this uh, in, in this interactive in this interactive piece. Um, um, so please uh, explore by yourself. I am really interested in, in, what, in what you would think about them. Um, we have uh, uh, quite a few pieces in development at, uh, at this very moment. Um, um, something that can be compared to the, to the VR studio and something that has a direct relationship with the pandemic because um, uh, we all have been uh, have been impacted by that but when we look at um, uh, places like our uh, laboratory which are uh, focused on um, uh, audiovisual production uh, that was a really hard hit in the sense that we were unable to uh, to come together uh, to meet uh, physically uh, and hence also uh, produce um, uh, pieces. Uh, we did not stop uh, our uh, actions during the pandemic lockdowns, but we had to um, uh, transfer uh, everything online, which was not very, w w which was not easy, uh, but which also slowed down the process. The development process, especially the production process, which uh, which became much more cumbersome and which um, uh, which produced a huge overhead of uh, organizational overhead, which we had to deal with. Um, hence, many of the projects were also postponed or started um, uh, um, to overlap yes, in their timelines. So here we have uh, we have New Spirit by Laura Pavela uh, in collaboration with Lauren Dubowski. Uh, which is going to be an interactive piece about uh, about utopian communities. The School of World by Iga Wapinska and Eva Jarosz, which is an interactive piece that will accompany a documentary film about a school in the east of Poland that was built during the socialist times uh, as a kind of grassroots um, uh, initiative. Uh, Overgrowth, which is a piece um, uh, realized by, uh, by a young team of creators um, and devoted to the... Mm, uh, the, mm, the post mining landscape, um, refugee atlas by Paweł Muścicki, which is um, a, a piece inspired by um, um, uh, by Abi Wabok's Atlas Nemosyne, um, and which um, uh, um, um, looks into the topic of uh, of refugees. Um, uh, the movement of bodies across the um, uh, across Europe uh, over the over the ages, but directly addressing the current refugee crisis, which we are still dealing with or not dealing with, depending on the, on the context. Um, the next project, Crisis of the Twentieth Century, is a new project that we have accepted by Mara St Maya Starakiewicz and Martin Lejak, which is going to be um, a visual textual um, essay, uh, interactive essay. Uh, to koniec zdarzeń by Michał Szota is, is an interactive, is an interactive, um, mm, hmm, chat uh, and audiovisual experience, um, performative experience that uh, Michał uh, devised as a reaction to the pandemic. And he's still uh, exploring the possibilities of this now platform uh, to bring people together and uh, confront them with each other. And the last piece uh, that is in process right now is Stoss, which is a piece that I am uh, realizing myself, which is also an, ex an extension or an, a, uh, an, a, a companion piece to an exhibition and a book and, and, uh, and printed and, and, and a smaller printed piece. Uh, and is supposed to complement it in new, uh, in new ways. Uh, another another project that we are actively developing in the interactive narrative studio 
uh, is um, uh, is a new uh, proof of proof of concept for digital publishing, uh, which is called Publication as a Website. Uh, for this, we have been collaborating with the Technical University in Łódź, uh, working with uh, professors uh, Aneta Poniszewska and Łukasz Chomontek and a group of students uh, to develop the concept that we have devised in the in the studio. Uh, I am really excited to, to, to see the first books uh, appearing on this uh, on this uh, on this proof of concept. We are opening a, a publishing series right now uh, of the Visual Narratives Laboratory. Um, with uh, first the first two books are supposed to be republished uh, uh, books that we translate from paper into the digital medium and see how that uh, to what extent it allows us to do more, say more. Uh, what do we, what do we gain? What do we lose in that process? Uh, we are also going to look at it from a, from a research perspective. In addition to that, and in collaboration with the technical, technical university, um, uh, I'm conducting a seminar right now on digital exhibitions, and we're going to explore the possibilities of, of digitally presenting, uh, uh, art and, um, also uh, to be used internally by the, by the film school in the future. Um, and that is a big topic. And at the same time, we are working on developing a tool set for micro streaming services so that individual producers of audiovisual content can uh, build their own uh, um, you know, streaming services without being dependent on the huge uh, on the huge platforms. Yes. Also in terms of uh, uh, sharing income and the possibility possibility of customization. Oh, so this is a short presentation of how our first design for the book looks like. Um, uh, it also allows for annotating the content with the use of, uh, of an open uh, project that is called Hypothesis. We are, we are right now exploring the possibilities of it. Uh, uh, needless to say, this project is responsive, so it can be read on tablets and, and, uh, and phones. And uh, uh, it's a totally different experience for uh, for each of these uh, of these platforms uh, this is only one of the projects uh, of the uh, of the graphic designs for for for, for or, or user experience designs uh, for that idea of a book uh, we are going to produce at least three so that we can uh, uh, compare and look at how uh, uh, a proper book uh, in the digital sphere uh, might look or might work or might feel like and then uh, the last studio that I would like to uh, talk about a little bit is uh, the Perception Audience Research Studio, whose objectives are as follows, the establishment of transdisciplinary research teams studying the neurocognitive basis of image perception, cooperation with researchers from other universities or research centers. Um, the idea was from the beginning that the research should link all the labs together, and it is, it is working to some extent, of course, um, uh, it is really hard in the sense that each of the studios has a very intense program and the idea that we would all get together on a regular basis and exchange experiences and ideas and, 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 um, and help each other, uh, it is happening, but not on, uh, to such a degree or with such an intensity that we had hoped. Um, but this is also, I think, um, I am convinced, uh, pandemic related in the sense that we were just, um, how to say that, dispersed during a long time. And now everything is coming together again. So the possibility of a more intense uh, exchange between the, uh, the, the studios, which was from the very beginning very important to us, is on the table again. And we are trying to achieve that with mixed results. Um, the responsible for this studio is uh, Magda Sobocinska, who has her own research project about which I'm going to say a couple of words. So these are the research projects that are, that are happening right now in the studio. In addition, of course, to, uh, to the research projects that are directly linked to our, uh, to our activities in the studio, which means the big research on, uh, on XR, uh, on, on uh, immersive media led by Paula Borkiewicz in collaboration with, uh, um, the Institute of Psychology of the Polish Academy of Sciences, OPI, and the University of Łódź. Um, the research into uh, interactive media that is led by Eva Drygalska in collaboration with the Interactive Narrative Studio. 
Um, and, and here we have uh, four projects that are happening uh, right now. Uh, the first is the importance of the internet and the marketing activities of create of the creative of creative sector entities and in this and in the decision making processes of cultural recipients by Magdalena Sopocinska. Uh, uh, the next project is the aesthetic and extra aesthetic components influencing the reception of Polish contemporary art by Dagna Kidan, which is which is her PhD project. Um, Worldview and the perception of art, uh, which is conducted by a group. Uh, from the University of Łódź, Tomasz Ferenc uh, and uh, Kamila Biały in collaboration with Dagna Kidoń, and uh, a study of textbooks in art education regarding the relationship between image text and understanding by Anna Zarifta, uh, which is also uh, using oculocentric um, uh, uh, research. Um, ah, I knew I forgot something. Um, the research studio is equipped with two desktop and two mobile eye trackers with fa face and biometric uh, scanning devices, uh, reading devices, and it is with the help of these, these devices that that's uh, some of the uh, some of the um, research, especially the the one on perception, is being conducted. And the whole project is funded by uh, the, through a generous grant from the Ministry of Education and Science. Um, that uh, allowed us to to put into place this uh, this um, uh, laboratory in the first place. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and uh, uh, please visit us at vnlab.org, where we publish our current activities and uh, share um, uh, our plans. Thank you.